everybody. Today we're going to be creating an artwork where we're going to be drawing birds and we're going to use shapes to draw our birds. Shapes are an element of art and the shapes that we're going to be using are shapes like circles and triangles to create our birds. The supplies you'll need for this project are a white piece of paper, something to draw with like a pencil, and something to color with like crayons or markers. Gather your supplies and we'll be ready to get started. Okay, I've gathered my supplies. I have a pencil to draw with. I'm going to be using a Sharpie to outline my lines, but you can use a regular black marker or a black crayon, or you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. And I've got my crayons to color with. So I'm going to start by drawing circles. So a circle is a shape, and we're going to draw three circles on our paper. Now, Notice where I put that first circle. It's over here to the side and close to the bottom, but it's not touching the bottom or the side. Also, my circle's not teeny tiny. I'm going to draw two more circles right next to that. And it's okay that my circles are not perfect and they're not all exactly the same size. That's okay. So the next shape I'm going to be using is a triangle. So I'm going to use a triangle and I'm shape and I'm going to make the beak on this first um, bird here. Okay, and then I'm going to give it one eye. Now we're only we're looking at the, the bird from the side, so we just need to draw one of its eyes. For the wing, I'm going to do a line like this, kind of a bumpy line like that for the wing. And I'm going to do something similar for the tail back here. I'm going to start here and I'm going to make about three bumps and come in like that. Kind of looks like the bird is looking up at the sky. And then I'm going to draw the legs. So I'm going to do a straight line down, another straight line down, and then I'm going to do upside down V like this for the bird's feet. Now remember, yours does not have to look exactly like mine. If it's a little bit different, that's okay. For my next one, I'm going to make this look like it's looking up at the sky. So I put the beak, the triangle shape, at the top, and I'm going to do two eyes for this one because we see the top of it, like that. And then I'm going to put a wing on either side, so I'm going to start right here and do another bumpy line like that, and the other side, like that. And now I'm going to draw the tail. So it's going to be really similar to that. I'm just going to add more bumps than I did for the wings, like that. And I'll draw the two legs and the feet, just the same way we did the other one. Now, if I'm ever going too fast, remember you can pause the video. You can rewind and go back to get caught up if you need to. Okay, so our last bird, I'm going to start with a beak again. This one's going to be looking that direction. And put the eye on there. I'm going to draw the wing, so pretty much the same way I did this one. Just going the other way. And the tail. Like that. This one I'm going to make his legs look like he's walking. So I'm going to make one going like that. And one like that. Okay, so now I'm finished drawing my birds. Now I'm going to outline mine with a black marker. You can do this with a black crayon or you can just leave it as pencil if you would like. Now I've got a few places where my pencil lines are showing, so I'm going to take my eraser and clean those up. Okay, now I'm ready to start coloring. So I'm going to color in my birds. Each bird is going to be a different color. Now, I would recommend not picking blue, <coughs> excuse me, blue for your birds because the sky is going to be blue. So pick a different color. It can be orange, pink, purple, green, whatever color you would like. <clears throat> okay, now I have colored in my birds. I'm ready to do the background. So first thing I'm going to do is do the grass at the bottom 
of my paper so you can use any kind of green you have and the way I'm going to do my grass is I'm going to do it kind of as like straight up and down scribbly lines that helps it make it look a little bit more like grass it doesn't have to be perfect and exact some can be taller and shorter than others because grass go, grows um, different ways some some's a little bit taller than others and that's okay okay now I'm ready for my sky so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my sun and you can put your sun wherever you want um, in your picture it is your choice you don't have to put it where you where I put mine you pick where you put yours and color in your sun Now I have my blue that I'm going to use for the sky. Before I start coloring in the sky though, I'm going to draw some clouds. I'm going to use my blue to draw my clouds, but I'm going to not color them in. They're going to stay white. So there's my first cloud. And I just do bumpy lines. You can do round circles or ovals. You can make your go up the edge of the paper, whatever works best for you. Now I'm ready to start coloring in the sky. I'm not going to color my clouds. I'm going to leave those white. I'm going to color around my clouds, around my sun around my birds and I'm going to come all the way down and touch the grass with my blue. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, I finished coloring my birds. I've colored each one of my birds. I've colored in the background. I use shapes like circles and triangles to create my birds and bumpy lines and straight lines. I hope you had a lot of fun creating this artwork and I can't wait to see everybody's creations. Bye.